Hey guys, welcome to the replay. If you are watching the replay, you can also click for hearts. Like mad, we are doing a 5 million hearts giveaway, so I would love the hearts if you're watching via the Periscope app. If you're watching the replay on catch.me, you can catch all of my prior scopes here at catch.me forward slash hmademommy. I am Lindsay Gramont, and I've got Kimberly Bernstein Hi. here of Essential mm -hmm. Breath. Let me put my wide angle lens on. Also a proud lady angel. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. So my blog again is over at homemademommy.net. Now we have to remember to look on that side of the screen. We're doing the first ever landscape <laughs> periscope here. So nice to have this wide angle. So thanks everyone for joining our Essential Oils 101 Scopinar. This is the second Scopinar I've done. The first one was with Evan, homemade daddy, a few weeks ago, but now he is laid up with his ruptured Achilles tendon. So he's not helping out tonight. He's resting. He just got his cast off today. So he's walking in a boot now and it's been quite interesting. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. If you are just joining the scope now, please share. If you look, um, if you guys have the new version of the Periscope app, you can swipe from left to right. And now you can share on Facebook, you can share on Twitter, you can share with your followers. There are plenty of ways to share with other people this amazing uh, class that we're going to be teaching tonight with lots of great info. Who's excited? I wish you guys would type in your excited emojis. How do you, you just swipe from left to right and you can share on Facebook. So I want everyone to type in where you are watching from. And also, let us know if you can hear us okay. We've both got mics on, and I just wanna make sure everything is working properly before we dive right in. I think Orlando, Florida, and whenever you type a comment, just a word of advice, put a little dash and then your name, and that way, so um, nice by yes, because I mean we can't see that far. We're like squinting to see that far to see your handle. But if you type in your name, you can Australia. totally see it. Oh, hey, from Australia. That's awesome. Hi, Trudy from Texas. Very, very cool. All right, I'm getting my script out here. Here is my script. Kimberly's got her script. We can see everything behind us. Hopefully, we don't knock anything over or knock the little phone over here on its stand. <laughs> because that would be interesting. I'm just going to make sure you guys can see Kimberly as equally as well as you can see me. Um, I need some stress away because I just got my kiddo to bed and I I'm just... I'm working on packing for solo retreat, so I... You're leaving tomorrow, right? It's dark and early. Okay, now I feel like I can get started. Let's get... Please turn on your phone. I don't know what that means. Turn your phone. Turn your Hi, phone. Leslie. Oh, all the people who are saying to us to please turn the phone. Turn your phone. Actually, what you need to do is download the new Periscope app. So actually, you don't even need to download it. Just go to your um, your app store and click on the updates, and then you will be able to see it this way. So I am going to continue scoping it this way because the new app does support the landscape view, and I want to be able to post this up to YouTube. So. Go leave the scope right now. You can always come back in and just update your app, and then you will be able to see it just fine sideways. So all the people commenting about that, I'm going to ignore those comments from now on because I just to told you all how to fix it. So go and update your app, and then you'll be able to see it. I think anyone who has an updated app is, should be seeing it correctly. So if you do have an updated app, please tell me that you are seeing it sideways. Looks great. Awesome. I see a lot of y'all have the updated app because those of you sharing on Facebook do. So pretty cool. Please also tap for hearts um, because we're doing a 5 million hearts giveaway. You can participate in that. One of you will win a ticket to the Mastermind event. You can check out mastermindevent.com to see what that event is all about. Um, if you text the word giveaway to the number 33444, then you'll be entered in that giveaway. And I also want to make the point that many of you found this um, the Scopinar by signing up on my website for this event. 
and you saw that if you actually signed up through my website, uh, then you will be entered to win a 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint for watching Yum. tonight. Yay! So, so um, if you are on here and you have not done that, you can easily do it by texting the word EO101 class to the number 33444. Again, that's EO101 class to the number 33444, and you'll be entered to win that 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint. Woo woo! Okay. So again, my name is Lindsay Gramont, and I blog over at homemademommy.net, and I got started with Young Living a couple of years ago. My blog has been around a lot longer, was very into real food, and thought that I was just in the food game and didn't think um, that oils would help me very much, and boy, have I been proved wrong. <laughs> so I am serving a community of people who care about what they put in and on their bodies, who seek to thrive, not just survive, who want to be vibrantly healthy and well, and that's what this class is all about. Also people who, yes, also people who really want to learn to become their own health advocates and don't take anything they hear or read at face value, but who seek to learn and listen to their own bodies and their family's bodies and feed it what it needs to be healthy and strong. So I support all of you guys, this whole community on its path to optimal wellness by encouraging busy moms to cook healthy and unprocessed food for their families and to get rid of toxins in their home via really simple homemade beauty and cleaning recipes. Um, so, you know, we've had thousands of people join us in this journey and it's been an incredible experience where we have been blessed abundantly. So an amazing, amazing blessing. Um, I first started with my oils and what I did was sit down and read. I read the resources that my upline um, provided me with and I learned. And this class is going to help you start on that path. And it is the beginning of many more opportunities to learn. I wanna also introduce sitting next to me here, Kimberly Bernstein, who is on my Oily Angels team. And she goes by the handle Essential Breath on Periscope. Awesome. Kimberly? Thanks, Lindsay. I'm Kimberly Bernstein, and I am a gold leader with Young Living Essential Oils. And I've been using the oils for just short of two years now. And I. Um, she was my first enrollment of an yeah. actual member, a wholesale member. And I really wondered what the oils could do for me because I do not have. Oh, hard to hear me. Hmm. Um, my Make sure it's plugged in. On. Just maybe speak up. Um, okay, I will speak louder. No, it's definitely on. Up. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Just talk louder. Yeah. Okay. So I do not have a sense of smell. Can't smell. So I really wondered what the oils could do for crazy. me. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little crazy. Um, not crazy to you, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wondered, right? You think of essential oils and you think that. Um, that yeah, can't hear. Okay. Could you guys hear me okay? I'm just quiet. I will try to talk louder. Can you hear me now? So I really wondered okay. what the oils could do for me. And then yes. I was able to have some great success using them just for overall wellness. I, um, I work out a lot, so I was able to really have really smooth muscles after I went for a long run. I was training for a marathon when I first started using my oils. And then I really found a lot of benefit in using them to support focus and paying attention. So I became, I, I like to share, I like to talk to people, and I became really excited about creating wellness, purpose, and abundance for my family and for everybody who chooses to join me on this journey by sharing my oils and sharing something that I love. When I go to Target and I like something, I, I don't. I, I tell people and they may go, but join, having people join me on this journey has just been amazing. I fixed it. Okay. okay. I did have her mic plugged into the wrong <laughs> jack, so okay. we're good now. Okay, Thanks, so I everyone. Won't yell anymore. <laughs> okay. All right, so sorry if it was quiet. If you're watching the okay. replay, it's better now. All right, so just so you know, I just want to point out that we are holding these scripts. And it's not because Lindsay and I are not intimately familiar with the uses of the oils I mean, in the I premium wrote the circuit. Script. She wrote the script, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I use these oils every day. But there are two reasons that we're holding this script. There's a lot of information and we really value your time. So we want to keep everybody on track. I, I can 
go on tangents and I'm not going to tonight. We're going to use the script. And we also want to point out that when you start using your oils and you love them and you want to share them, you do not have to be an expert. Mm -mm. We make the script available so that you are able to use it to use as a guideline. We are not experts. Neither one of us is. is We're still learning every day. Still learning. I find new uses every day. So just want to make that point that all you need is commitment and the decision to improve other people's life, your own life and other people's lives by sharing. You do not need to be an expert and we will help you get the script. So where do you get the script? If you are a member of the Oily Angels, reach out to your upline and they will help make sure that you get the script. And if you are on any other team in Young Living, I'm sure that your upline has a script for you. It will not be mine, but it will be theirs. And they can help you with that. All right, so um, one more thing that I want to ensure everyone understands is that we're going to be talking and following along with this agenda, and we may not always um, respond to all your comments right now, but if you have any questions um, and you do comment and we haven't followed up with it in this class, I will respond on Twitter to you via the Catch Me app um, after this. So right. um, that way we can make sure that your questions are answered, or if you're an oily angel watching, maybe you can answer their questions as That'd we go. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So whether you're with us joining us tonight because you want to get chemicals out of your family's home or you're here to improve your mood or support your immune system or you're here to learn how to make some of your own natural beauty products, I just want to be really clear that neither one of us is a physician. You need to be a physician with a medical license in order to diagnose or treat any condition and neither one of us is that we're, we're moms, we are we value being part of a community that helps educate people and helps people be, like Lindsay said, their own health advocates. So we're going to keep this class very FDA compliant and supporting, focusing on wellness and staying. So if you imagine a line, just a line here, wellness is above the line. We're going to talk about all the many of the ways that you can stay above the wellness line. We're not going to discuss anything below the wellness line. Okay, so how many of you guys watching want to stay above the wellness line and be healthy all the time and your kids too and if you are then please comment with the word bacon um, <laughs> thanks for yes. inviting followers Dana okay so um, so we're gonna help you learn what essential oils are and how you can incorporate them into your life to support your body systems and how you can use them in ways that you really never expected. Whatever the reason you're here, we've got an enriching slightly less than an hour here for you. Great, one more thing. If you are commenting you. in here, please do not solicit other members in the Periscope. Um, that is not what this class is for. You can invite people to watch our events, but you are not here to solicit. So anyone saying, oh, I'm going to PM you or follow up with me after to enroll, just randomly throwing that out there, um, in the Periscope will be banned uh, from my scopes in the future. Um, so this is an open class to anyone at Young Living. We are all about Team Young Living. I am a Crown Diamond with Young Living, and this Periscope is for folks all over the place to educate all of their members. So we want everyone to feel very comfortable here and sending their members here, sending new prospects here, new people, new people wanting to learn. So we ask that you just follow up with, if you are new to Young Living, if this scope is introducing you to Young Living, then follow up with the person that sent you here. And if, if you just got here because of Lindsay's blog, then enroll with her. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So what are Young Living essential oils? For me, I know that nature has provided us with everything we need to survive and thrive on this earth. The plants used for essential oils have been around longer than we have, and humans have been using nature's abundance in many ways, from the obvious uses like food and even to provide shelter to the lesser known, including distillation into essential oils for various powerful applications. For me, these are truly some of God's greatest gifts. Essential oils are highly concentrated aromatic essences of trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, resins, and flowers. Essential oils are greaseless, and so they're not like the oils that you cook with in your kitchen. They're not like coconut oil or something like that. Um, my husband at first did not want me to put oils on him because he thought he was going to be greasy. And essential oils are not like that. They're volatile and they will quickly evaporate. 
Essential oils are the plant's natural defense and protective mechanisms. They work the same in our bodies as they do in nature. They penetrate our cell membranes and disperse into our blood and tissues. One drop contains molecules that affect the body at a cellular level. Their purpose is to help support all of our body systems to keep our bodies clean and our system functioning as it should. And they also help to ensure that we are in a healthy, happy, emotional state as well. On average, each essential oil contains hundreds of molecular constituents with more being discovered every day. The key to producing therapeutic grade essential oils, however, is to preserve as many of these delicate compounds as possible because even the smallest compounds play an important role in arriving at the final result. Just like a symphony, the quality of the music is dependent on each individual instrument coming together harmoniously. So any impurity or out of tune instrument has a dramatic effect on the final result. So let's be very clear, all oils are not created equal. Y'all can repeat after me. All, all oils, oils are, are not created, created equal. equal. All right. Young Living is the oldest and most trusted, most well-respected essential oil company in the world. After, with 25 years of research and experience, we are the only essential oil company to own our own farms and offer a seed to seal guarantee. I personally advocate knowing my farmer. I like to get my family's food from the farmer's market or knowing the source of my food. And it's the same thing with something like essential oils that I'm going to put in my body, on my body, use as cleaning products. I want to know where it comes from. So our proprietary seed to seal process is the heart of our commitment to purity and authenticity. From the time the seed is sourced until the oil is sealed in the bottle, we apply rigorous quality control and as much as possible to ensure that you are receiving essential oils exactly the way they are intended with as many molecules, molecular components as possible preserved. Young Living Farms are completely open about their farming practices. So some of you may have heard me say that I, um, I needed the stress away because I'm packing. I, I am going to be on a plane at 7 a.m. I'm going to the Young Living Farm in Mona, Utah tomorrow. So or, exciting. I know. It's <laughs> so exciting. Um, with several hundred other silver leaders who have earned this opportunity. But you don't have to earn the opportunity. There are plenty. You could call Young Living and say, I would like to go visit your farm. And they will let you know when you can schedule a tour. So it is awesome. Yay, see you at Silver Retreat. Um, so I hope you all will take the opportunity to visit a Young Living Farm when and you happen to be. And you've been to one I've before. been to two, two other. Yeah, yeah, I've been to two. I've been to Highland Flats in, uh, Idaho. in Idaho. And I have been to the um, St. Marie's Farm in Idaho as well. And I'm looking forward to 2016 when I will go to Ecuador. Woohoo! Yeah. And I went to Ecuador last year and have been to the three farms Kimberly was talking about as well. And it's unbelievable to see that what we know and hear about, that we actually can know it by mm -hmm. experiencing it. There is nothing that is going in the cooker with the plant material. There are no synthetic so compounds. Me, I used. got to go in yeah, the cooker. Yeah, you jumped in to stamp down <laughs> the chips. But um, all that's going in there is plant material. There is a nothing funny business happening. It's unbelievable. You will just be awe-inspired if you get the opportunity to go to the farms. And we love for our members to be part of this of this process. And there are no pesticides or chemicals used on any of the plants. So they use the oils, actually. Um, you're totally welcome to do to take advantage of this. And I highly recommend it. The week that we spent on the Highland Flats Farm was just amazing. Amazing. Such a gift. Uh, there's just no other essential oil company with the pedigree and commitment to the quality that Young Living has. So if you haven't taken started taking notes yet, this might be a good time. So how can we use Young Living Essential Oils? And you guys can type in and interact. Um, if I ask any questions, you can comment. Um, we can use them in three ways. The first is topically, the second is aromatically, and the third is internally as a dietary supplement. The FDA has labeling rules for dietary supplements and cosmetics. They prefer to see these as separate labels, which makes sense okay. because there are different things you can say about supplements than you can about a cosmetic type of product. The FDA asked Young Living to choose a primary usage that most people use their, that particular essential oil for. And that is why Young Living has included that primary use 
on the label. Since our essential oils have traditionally been used in all three ways though, however, and due to the high quality of our essential oils, to keep it simple, start with the primary use of the oil that it says so on the label, but then go from there as, as you learn and you see fit for your family. What are we diffusing what tonight? What are we diffusing tonight? We're diffusing Stress Away and Peppermint. That is a very yummy combo. Okay, so I feel topic the, and we feel <laughs> uplifted and, really and yes, we're awake because we, you <laughs> but know, I can't smell it. <laughs> peppermint is, is energizing to us, and um, when we are stress free because we just got our kids to bed and we rushed over here and now we're doing this class, right? Um, so you might want to go pop that in your diffuser right now mm -hmm. if you are watching. So the first way is topically, also known as transdermal. Essential oils are rapidly absorbed into our skin which is not surprising considering our skin is our largest organ and applying to our feet is a really great place to put the oils because we have a lot of pores on our feet and you're not going to feel any kind of hot feeling or any excited feeling from any oils when you put them on your feet. So when you're just starting out, I always say just keep it simple and put it on your feet, on the bottom of your feet. You can also bathe in essential oils. It's best to mix about 10 to 15 drops with some Epsom salt and dump that into the bath because the salt helps to disperse the oil into the water. You don't want to just dribble essential oils on top of the water because oil and water don't, don't mix. mix. You look so much taller than me. I'm trying to, maybe I'm I should move forward plaster. a little. <laughs> <laughs> and you and then you sit up <laughs> more. Um, Anyway, all right, inhalation is the second way that we can use our oils. So I want to ask you guys on the scope, if you're watching, get ready to comment. What memory does the smell of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies evoke for you? How about a hot cup of cider or maybe freshly cut grass? Do you guys have memories? Type them in to the scope. Comfiness, grandma, grandma rainy, rainy days, days. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, mm, cookies. You sound like Homer Simpson. Um, yes. So yes, the aroma does still affect me if I can't, even though I cannot smell. I can't answer any of these questions, but <laughs> I don't know. What. I don't know. Since our powerful and the best and fastest way to reach our mood center is through our nose. So in less than a second, essential oils hit our limbic system and have the power to affect our mood. So when you walk into a room and lavender is being diffused, you are going to feel that calm before you, your brain actually says, hmm, is there something that I'm smelling here that is making me feel calm? You are going to understand the calm feeling before you are going to start to assess what is causing you to feel calm, what that smell is. So, um, you know, one of the sad things, though, and one of the unfortunate things is that 75% of American homes use synthetic air fresheners, candles, plug-ins, sprays, um, and all of those have numerous amounts of chemical agents in them, including formaldehyde. If you see the word fragrance on any of those sprays or anything for that matter, even your face cream or your toothpaste, that fragrance, that word fragrance on the ingredient list can contain over 300 toxic chemicals that they don't have to disclose separately. They have allowed these companies to just put the word fragrance and that's it. So um, that's kind of sad, you know. It Formaldehyde really is. is a number one cancer causing chemical and is what you're embalmed with at the morgue. So you don't want to be breathing that in if you don't have to. Do you guys want to breathe in formaldehyde? I don't think so. Um, so let's just cut that out and diffuse. So we have our diffuser here behind me. Can you guys see that? It's that blue thing right there. Um, the diffuser, is, it's a cool mist coming out of there. It has a vibrating plate that allows the, the steam to be pushed out. You can kind of and the Young Living diffusers are actually humidifiers as well. Yes, so humidifiers are not diffusers. Don't put essential oils in your humidifier, humidifier. at home. But and it's not hot, but it is, it is putting some moisture into the air. Mm -hmm. um, so use your diffuser. That's the best way to put a scent into your home. If you don't have a diffuser, you can even do little cotton balls. Put essential oils on some cotton mm -hmm. balls and put that in your pocket or, or on a handkerchief or on a necklace. Right there are many ways to diffuse. You can put little 
cotton balls in your car in the air vents or mm -hmm. anything like that. The other way that we can inhale essential oils is by what's called tinting. So this is like the old school way that you've seen in countless movies where a guy has a big boiling steaming pot of water. They put their head over the water with a towel over their head and breathe in the vapors. And you can put emotional oils in there, lavender to maybe help with um, something you've got going on emotionally, or you can do it to um, just help you breathe easy. So um, my kids love. were just telling somebody about this the other day. They, they were. They don't like. They don't really like to be in the tent. Although Courtney George had a great idea to actually put kids in, in a the tent. tent. Yes. yes, I love that. Well, um, the aroma dome is the, the aroma, tent. Yes. Yeah, so that's but they neat. were. But my kids really feel like it helps them breathe easy, and so they were telling somebody who somebody was not it. breathing easily <laughs> 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 that they really needed to get a tent. <laughs> You can um, put just a couple of drops, two or three drops goes a long way with tinting. You just want to make sure you close your eyes before you dive on in there. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll know why. You'll know why. The last way that we use essential oils is by ingesting them. So you can even put our oils in the ones that are labeled as a dietary supplement. You can put into a um, empty vegetable capsule and Young Living Cells, I've got this bottle up there. I'm not even going to try and reach it. My arms are super long. Oh, okay. Go, go gadget arms. Okay. So we have these empty clear vegetable capsules, literally a, like a capsule, like you would take your, um, any kind of other medicine in, but these are not medicine. Um, but you open the capsule up and you drop the oils in and you can take that as a pill. Um, or you can put them in tea or in your water. So I love to put, um, you know, lemon oil in my water, um, you're going to get some great benefits mm -hmm. from that. So, I don't want to knock my water over there. Put it in a Lego, yeah, you I did a scope about that Also, put, um, yeah, you can stand them up in a Lego, that's cute. Um, cute idea. You can also cook with the oils to flavor your food. So tonight, I made like a cream sauce. I had some creme fraiche, and I had sauteed some, actually a friend of mine gave us some dove breasts. I know that sounds crazy, but her husband had gone hunting, and she gave me a pound of dove breasts. They were little bitty. They were really good. I've never had dove before. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I sauteed the, the dove breasts in a pan, and then I put some creme fraiche in the pan along with three drops of lemon oil, and it was the most amazing sauce. It was delicious with the dove breasts, which were also delicious. Um, so chocolate and peppermint go well together. All kinds of good things you can do with cooking with the oils. Okay, um, yes, so someone was asking about the tinting. I just want to go back to that, that if the boiling water will affect the, um, the quality of the oils. And the answer is that it will not because once you, um, if you bring something to a boil, like in a kettle, um, as soon as you turn the heat source off from the kettle, the water is not at the boiling point anymore. It's below the boiling point. And so when you pour it into a bowl to breathe it in, it's not at the boiling point anymore. And that's the point where it would be breaking down oils. Um, so you just put your drops in, breathe in the vapors, and you are not gonna have any impact on the oils quality. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about safety. You can put your oils in any orifice of your body except for two. And they may not be the ones that you're thinking about. You shouldn't put your oils in your eyes or in your ears. So take care to dilute your oils, and we're going to talk a little bit about what that means when you're, if you think that they might be hot to your skin. If an oil ever feels hot, don't try to wash it off because remember Lindsay said oils and water don't mix. So if you have oil on your skin like peppermint, well, thieves, yeah. no? Yeah, it's okay, peppermint. Yeah. Peppermint or thieves could feel hot to your skin, and if they do, then you don't want to wash them off with water. You want to put olive oil, yep, oregano, olive oil, coca carrier oils or things that are vegetable based oils that can go rancid that are a little bit more greasy. greasy. So there there are if you're somebody who doesn't like greasy, there's probably a carrier oil for you. I think yeah. um, jojoba oil is a great one. Yeah, like if you're sitting at a restaurant and you put a little peppermint right here and it like accidentally just gets a little bit near your eye. Has anyone ever felt that? Ah okay. 
don't freak out. If there's some butter or olive oil on the table, just put a little dab right on the corner of your eye and you'll be good to go. Anything that, yeah. And you really don't need to freak out because we're talking about safety and we're talking about not putting them in your eye, but there's really no, there's no long-term danger. You're not going to go blind. You might think that you are, but <laughs> no. really just put some stress away on. You're not going to go blind. You'll have instant it relief just with will, the carrier right, oil. Right. It just is going to burn until you get carrier oil, on, not water carrier oil. It's much more likely that you're going to get oil in your eye accidentally than inside of your ear. It would help too. Anything right. fatty will yeah, help. Anything with, fa with a fattiness. Peppermint oil in your eye feels good. Okay. No. <laughs> She's <laughs> laughing. Okay. <laughs> um, so any sort of organic cold pressed vegetable oil is your carrier oil and you're going to want to dilute, especially on children, um, when, for, like under age five, especially when you're first starting out. I do not always dilute on my children anymore. Um, but every again, every person is different. Every you person you is could different. need a lot of diluting right. and your child may not. Right. So I remember going to a class with a guy who had five children and, um, and, and some are just more sensitive than others. So every one of you right. out there is different. So somebody out there might say, man, you need to dilute these oils because I needed to, but everybody's different. Right. So try them on yourself. See how you experience them, and if you have any kind of skin irritation, then dilute them. Right. And it might feel hot to your skin, then put a carrier oil over it if you didn't already mix it with it or add more. It might also not feel hot to your skin, but your skin might get red again. Carrier oil. Yeah. It's not, um, nothing tragic. No, so, exactly. Oil. The other reason, I do want to touch on another reason for using carrier oils. Um, it's not, less can be more. So yes. remember that there are, 40 million trillion molecules in each drop of essential oil, which means that they go to your, they cross the blood brain barrier and it's very rapid. So there may be times that you actually want to slow that down. And the way that you would do that is by using a carrier oil because the essential oil gets trapped in the fatty carrier oil and it may actually act like a time release. I've heard people, I have actually heard a couple of people say that they didn't really experience the benefits of the essential oil and they didn't want to use the carrier oil because they thought it would lessen the effect when actually when they finally did use the carrier oil, it, it helped better. them yeah. more because it made it last for longer. And then another reason to use your carrier oil is if you are say giving someone a back rub, the back's kind of a large part of your body if you use a carrier oil, you can cover that larger area with less drops yes. of essential oil, and that's going to be really budget friendly. Yes. So I actually apply some oils every night to my lady friends here um, because, you know, why wouldn't I want to support them looking nice and fresh? Um, anyway, it also helps me sleep. But um, I find that the aroma of the oils uh, that I I am smelling it longer when I apply oh. um, oils to my chest with a carrier oil. So at night, that's great because I need to be smelling the oils, for, you know, for a while so that I can fall asleep. So if you get them right up in your on your neck and on your chest with a carrier oil, you're going to smell it a lot longer. Okay, so who here is thinking of which oils? <laughs> which oils do I start with? Uh, we are going to talk about the premium starter kit tonight. So you have your basics in your kitchen, your butter, your salt, your pepper. These are the ingredients that you reach for most often. And Young Living has put together a kit here with oils that really cover a wide variety of uses. And there's 11 of them that we're gonna talk about tonight. So it's the same with these as it would be the basic ingredients in your kitchen. And I gotta tell you, these are the oils I order the most and replace the most and use the most. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly if I'm ordering them a lot, it means I'm using them a lot. And I've got two giant vases filled with empty bottles of essential oils sure. over there that will prove that I do go through <laughs> these the most often. Um, so we have 11 oils as part of this premium starter kit as well as a diffuser and a bunch of other items which we are going to go through. And while Kimberly talks about the first oil, Lavender, I hope that if you are watching this with a friend, that they are showing you and letting you smell their oils right about now, because that's what we would do if, mm -hmm. if you guys were all sitting in the room with us. So what's up with lavender? Lavender is go. considered the Swiss army knife of essential oils. It is one of history's most celebrated and versatile essential oils. 
So I can't smell it, but I know that I feel relaxed. We need a scentoscope. Yeah, that would be kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> that would be amazing. It is also one of the safest essential oils to apply undiluted to the skin. Um, so primary uses for lavender are that it is comforting and calming. It can help you unwind. You can add it to a nighttime bath. So again, you're not going to just drop it into the bath because oil and water don't mix, but you can add it to Epsom salts and put the Epsom salts in the bath, or you can make like a nice pillow spray with lavender oil. Mm -hmm. um, you can diffuse for a fresh, clean scent to eliminate odors, and it may also complement some of your favorite shampoos, lotions, or skin care products. Just make sure that they don't have any toxic bases in them because you don't want to add your essential oils to something that is toxic. So you can make linen sprays, body butter, sleepy time, roll-ons, bath salts, or face serums Yeah, with lavender. Good stuff. Every night to help uh, you calm down. Also, awesome. Love diffusing lavender and frankincense at night. It's one of my favorite, favorite grounding. combos. Yes. All right, next yes, up. Yes, you can dilute with coconut oil. Of course, you could do any of the oils with any carrier mm -hmm. oil. That is, you can do anything you want, really, with these. Mm -hmm. Next up is peppermint. So we said we were diffusing peppermint um, with Stress Away tonight, and peppermint is just, oh, it's so fresh and minty smelling. This just one I can't smell. Peppermint is the one you that can I can smell. You can smell it? Smell. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's awesome. Like a cooling sensation? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And just, yeah, it perks me up. Yeah, so it's a good one to diffuse um, when you need to pay attention to something. It's very potent. One drop delivers the effectiveness of 26 cups of pure peppermint tea. So a little bit of this oil goes a very long way. This is definitely one that you would probably dilute. Um, and it is really awesome to um, put in a capsule or put in a shot of Ming Shi Red or to put in your water. Um, it really supports the digestive system and promotes healthy um, tummy, healthy tummies everywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> healthy digestion. Um, I like to put a drop on my tongue um, after I've eaten, just to freshen breath as well as to help support um, digesting the food. And it's really good for working out. You use this a lot I for do. working out, I right? Do. I do. I get up at 4.30 in the morning to do a 5 a.m. workout, and it is the first oil that, sure. I, that I reach for. That you reach it, for. Yeah, it helps. You know, sometimes at 4.30 in the morning, if you haven't gotten a lot of sleep, you're feeling you're a little sluggish, and it just it, I take a drop, and while I'm opening the bottle, I take a whiff, and it perks me up and helps make sure that I'm going to have great digestion during the hour workout. So. Yeah. Peppermint is also good with chocolate, mm -hmm. right? You guys like chocolate mints, right? So I have a recipe on my blog for peppermint chocolate yes. truffles. You need to go and check it out. Mm -hmm. So just Google homemade, homemade mommy, mommy and peppermint, peppermint truffles. chocolate truffles. You will love that. All right, lemons up next. All right. Sunshine in a bottle, y'all. I seriously, I love lemon. Um, it's so. Yeah, lemon and all Young Living citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind. And we all know that the rind is where the nutrients are and it's not acidic. So all of Young Living's essential oils are steam distilled except for the citrus oils, which are cold pressed from the rind. And um, you can add lemon to, to your water. Now you're going to want to make sure that your water is in a stainless steel or glass container because pet, um, citrus oils digest petrochemicals. And plastic is petrochemical. So yeah. if you want a lemon bath on your okay, lap. Okay, guys, I got to just just jump in here. You cannot type anything that is not compliant, anything that is below the wellness line or you're going to get banned. So don't type in all the ailments. We don't need to hear about all your ailments or what these oils are good for for any ailments. Just listen to what we have to say here. And please don't type in all your ailments. Thank you. <laughs> Focusing on staying above the wellness line. So if you put lemon in your water and it's in a plastic or styrofoam cup, you're going to have a lemon bath. Another word of caution about lemon before I tell you all the awesome things you can use lemon for is that citrus oils can cause photosensitivity if they are applied to the skin. If you drink lemon in your water, you're fine. But if you are going to apply lemon to your skin, then you need to make sure that you have a great sunscreen that doesn't have toxins in it because um, I would recommend that if you put are... Put it where the sun doesn't right, shine. Put it where the sun doesn't <laughs> shine, yes. So what do you use lemon for? 
it has some great benefits, including the naturally occurring constituent limonene. So you can research limonene. Um, it enhances the flavor of food and water. So I used it, I made um, zucchini chips the other day and I just added a, cup, a couple drops of lemon to the ghee that I was dipping the zucchini in before I put them in the oven. It was so good. Um, lemon's also a key ingredient in Thieves and Ninja Red. And it is a great goo remover. Yeah. So anybody ever buy a picture frame and oh, you get the picture frame and the so sticker annoying. is on the cover? Why on do the, they put those right, on And it? then you can't get it off? Lemon. Yeah. And it, it's a great stain remover, too. So there's actually, um, it might not be there. No, but there. no, there's a great recipe on Lindsay's blog, homemademommy.net. Um, you, it's a recipe. <laughs> you drop lemon on the stain and then you put the yes, article. Yes, really complicated <laughs> recipe. And you put the article. It's, even I can follow this one. Um, <laughs> and then you put the item in the washing machine immediately. Hairspray buildup on your dress. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's great for all surfaces. Um, and it just, it's just, it's uplifting. Yeah. It's just, I, I go for lemon all the time. My kids ask for lemon because it's uplifting. It it can support your focus. It is great for a gentle detox. It's just sunshine yeah. in a bottle. I, I'm going to stop talking about it even though I don't really want to. <laughs> Next up is frankincense. Mm. Here's a frankincense. I don't know if you guys can even read that. Um, very valuable and sought after essential oil. Frankincense was more valued than gold during ancient times. So where have you guys heard mm -hmm. of frankincense? can type it in. Um, frankincense is amazing for <laughs> the skin. Yeah, Frank is my BFF, yes. Um, so we can make a face serum with frankincense. It has a visual tightening effect on the skin. Who wants a visual tightening effect on their skin? Comment, mm. yes. Um, so I've got a little glass um, dropper bottle here, and I have a label on it that says face serum. So you can get a little label maker to do that. And I'm not going to actually make it because I'm afraid I'm going to drop something trying to get over there. But um, what you can do to make a simple face serum is just put get one of these bottles. This is about two ounces, but you could use a one ounce bottle too. You could even use an empty um, essential oil bottle if you've got one. And put two drops of lavender and two drops of frankincense and then fill the rest of the bottle with um, the carrier oil of choice that you don't mind putting on your skin. So a lot of people choose jojoba or almond oil. You can Google comedogenic ratings yes. to be sure that you are not putting something on your skin that is if you are prone to clogged pores. Yeah, I don't really like coconut oil on my skin. It kind of makes me break out. I like it on my non-face skin. Yeah, but, not but I like skin. jojoba. And I like I like, um, I like avocado oil too. You try hemp seeds. Mm -hmm. good hemp seeds. So what I like to do is put a drop of this in the palm of my hand, rub it in, and then just rub it over my face. Um, or you can, uh, you know, put a little bit of it, just dab it um, on your little uh, areas of of aging, and that's your simple face serum. Um, I also really, really love to put a drop of frankincense. With a drop of carrier oil, as I said, I love to be able to smell it and rub it over my shoulders and neck before I go to bed at night. You guys, you will be in heaven if you do that tonight. Um, smells so good, and there's just something about it that is just very grounding. It makes you feel very safe and ready and protected before you go to bed. Um, so, face those serum are is what, 10 or 15 drops in? What? Somebody asked to repeat the face no, serum. No, I'm not going to repeat it. You can watch the replay. Um, we're going to move on to keep everyone on time here. Um, we're going to move on to Copaiba. Mm -hmm. Copaiba. Have you guys heard of this one? Copaiba. You cannot read that when you hear So it's um, <laughs> it's tapped. It's it resin like tapped anything. from. Yeah. It really doesn't smell like anything, <laughs> even to somebody who can smell. It. You smell anything. <laughs> it is resin tapped from a tree, kind of like maple syrup, and it's tapped from trees in South America, and it's distilled like frankincense. So the resin is tapped, and then it's, um, and then the oil is t is distilled from the resin. So just like frankincense, yeah. Okay. Copaiba contains the naturally occurring constituent beta carophylline and that beta carophylline was extensively studied for its ability to modulate a normal body's response to any irritant. So it's 
amazing for just overall cellular support. I like to, it promotes wellness. It can be an important part of your daily health regimen. And you can put it in your Ning's Red. I like to take a capsule and put a few drops. Um, Gary Young actually talked about taking, filling the whole capsule and then filling the top of the capsule with carrier oil. Um, I don't always do a whole capsule. I but just I, do a drop in my, right. um, in my Ninja. Ninja. Even my little five pound dog gets a drop of Copaiba mm -hmm. every day. So you can make a wellness tea with a drop of Copaiba and a drop of lemon and a drop of thieves and a teaspoon of honey and some water. That would be pretty awesome. Or put it in your daily Ninja Red shot. I just really like it for overall cellular support because I know that when I am working out, um, my cells need the extra support. And just any time really, but particularly I can feel the difference after I've worked out if I use it. So we just talked about the five single oils that are in the starter kit, lavender, peppermint, lemon, frankincense, and copaiba. And now we're going to talk about the exclusive Young Living blends. So a blend is, this bottle here contains more than one essential oil blended into a proprietary blend that only Young Living sells. Um, so the first one that we're going to talk about is thieves oil. How many of you guys have you heard about thieves oil? It's something that you've probably come across in various Google searches when you were looking for something to support your immune system. Am I right? Uh, thieves comes up a lot. Um, it is really one of our most popular blends and it was something that got me hooked on Young Living. It's inspired by the legend of four 15th century thieves who were actually spice traders and they were putting these aromatics on their body and found that it helped them to stay um, above the wellness line and support their immune system. Um, so it's got clove, cinnamon bark, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus radiata in it. And it is also a part of many other popular Young Living products because it just smells so dang good. Mm -hmm. And it's so effective. <laughs> and it's fall right now, guys. This just smells so good. Yeah, it's, it's that cinnamony, warm, just luscious scent. So there are a lot of products from Young Living that um, Thieves is in. So we've got a Thieves all-purpose cleaner. Um, and now we even have a Thieves laundry soap and a Thieves dish soap. And we have a fruit and veggie wash. And uh, Thieves also comes in um, toothpaste, mouthwash, and dental floss. Spray and the hand and purifier. And hand purifier, a Thieves spray, um, and a Thieves foaming hand soap. Mm -hmm. So great thing. My daughter's preschool and now kindergarten actually uses um, the hand soap and they use the cleaner and they use the hand purifier so we don't have any toxins oh lozenges exactly <laughs> um, lots mints, of these products there's breath mints too breath mints yeah so you've got it all on, exactly mm -hmm. so um, it's really really good stuff supports a healthy immune system who wants to have a healthy immune system? Does everyone on here, if you do, just type in immune <laughs> because um, this is something you're going to want to take this time of year in a capsule, guys, or put it in your Ninja Red. Um, so, you know, really, really great stuff in here that are going to help you out a lot. Um, My kids' classrooms now use the Thieves hand soap as they well. Do. Oh, yep. nice. Mm -hmm. Good job. My daughter just brought. One of my That's daughters just brought it. Yeah. Smelling that other stuff. Just brought it, the empty bottle home for the second time. <laughs> so my favorite thing to do this time of year, um, well, it's not very cold here in Austin yet, but maybe some of you who live north of here, um, it's starting to maybe get a little brisk um, for fall, is to just get some hot water, put a little spoonful of honey, a drop of thieves, and a drop of peppermint, and a drop of lemon, um, and you will have your own awesome tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up is Panaway. Is this one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites. <laughs> this is one that got me hooked on Young Living, actually. Okay, so it's a blend of four oils. It's wintergreen, clove, helichrysum, and peppermint. And it is a best-selling formula blended by Gary Young. 
and it is great to apply topically after exercise. You can add it to any sort of vegetable oil like the V6 that, is, that Young Living sells and you can apply it to your neck and your back for a soothing aromatic experience or anywhere where like if yesterday was a leg day so I came home and applied took some Legs carrier oil. like jelly. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and then my legs don't care or the school bus is at the bottom of a hill and it doesn't wait for me so I need to take care of my body. Um, it has a stimulating aroma, includes the naturally occurring constituents methyl salicylate, salicylate sorry, gamma cure cumin, menthol, and eugenol. So it's great for just making your muscles feel soothed. Um, Lindsay is holding a container of Epsom salts because you can make an Epsom salt. Who wants to soak in a bath salt. after they work out? So I'm going to put and just 10 drops. Yeah, enjoy the pan away. And I'm going to put a few drops of lavender. And I'm also going to say about pan away that I saw a post um, from Ashley Diet today who I think got it from April Pointer about diffusing, I think it was like five drops of pan away and five drops of stress away. And apparently it will smell like a root beer float. Oh, fun. Good times. Mm -hmm. so okay, so I just shook that up. I would dump about half of this um, into a bath and just soak and enjoy um, that one because that would that's going to feel pretty awesome. My daughter often chooses pan away to soak in in the bath. I think she knows what's up. She knows it feels good. All right, next up is purification, and I've got to say that this is probably my favorite blend from Young Living and the one I order the most and the one I go through the most. It, um, it's just a really great smell because it's so fresh. It contains six oils, so I'm going to read them to you here, and then you'll see why it's very refreshing. Um, lemongrass, rosemary, lavendin, melaleuca, which is tea tree, myrtle and citronella. It's a very bright, fresh scent. Um, it helps to neutralize any kind of yucky odors. So cigarette smoke, mildew, cat pee, fish, <laughs> tacos. I could name a whole bunch of disgusting sneakers. smells right now. Um, yeah, smelly gym clothes, smelly sneakers, skunk. <laughs> skunk. Yes. So um, when I go into a hotel room, the first thing I do is sprinkle the bed with purification and the whole room, just the mood of the room changes. So we're gonna make, um, show you how easy it is to make a spray. You can make any spray this way. Um, very, very easy. You just put a pinch of salt into a spray bottle like this, a glass spray bottle, um, a pinch of salt, and then um, depending on the size of the spray bottle, anywhere between five and 20 drops of essential oil. So in this case, we're making a a room or a bathroom spray, mm -hmm. ladies. This is what we use in our um, bathroom. You use it in your bathroom. So um, this isn't going to be like the sprays that you have in your bathroom right now, but you spray and kind of like, then it smells like poop and something, something synthetic. Poopy. And so it's like a poopy, right. lavender-y, yucky smell. Have you guys noticed that? It's really kind of gross. Mm, it's really um, awesome that I can use the spray this just in makes my it bathroom. Go away. And then if my dog stinks, floral can, poop. Yeah. Floral poop, yes. <laughs> then I can spray it on my dog. So oh. I don't have to worry about yeah. not spraying something on my dog that I shouldn't, that he, I don't want him breathing in. Yes. I can <laughs> literally. Laughing. I woke you guys up there, didn't <laughs> I? All you guys are floral sleeping. <laughs> Yes, so um, who roses, yes, so who always wakes everybody up? Um, so put five to 20 drops, depending on what smell you want or how strong a smell you want. Then fill bottles. the bottle the um, rest of the way with distilled water, put it in the bathroom, put a cute little label on it, and you have a wonderful air freshener. Um, or you can just diffuse it, and um, that will help as well. So that is... Uh, that is purification. So next up is Digize. All right. So Digize is a proprietary blend of eight oils, including tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli. Ooh, lots of oils. Yes. You can add Digize to a capsule. You can just take a drop after a meal, before a meal, on your tongue. That's what I do. Um, yeah, Who does I do that? that Anyone else? I don't always have time for a capsule. Um, 
you're still talking about purification, like spray dye in your toilet. That would be weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the use of fennel dates back to ancient Egyptians. So I like to use it with every meal, especially if I'm eating out a lot, like traveling and eating out. You can put it on your tongue, under your tongue, in a capsule. You could put it in your ningerette if you want. Not everybody loves the taste of it, but I find that it people it grows on people. Oh, especially it when you when you see Guys, how well it works. I challenge all of you watching to put a drop of diegize on your tongue after lunch and after dinner. You will love it. Mm -hmm. You will not want to go without it. It really helps. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna support your digestive, excretory, and nervous systems. Who does not want that? Yes. Um, it's a great after dinner mint, like we said. Two drops of diegize on your tongue after a meal, and you will be a happy person. Happy tummy. No bloaty tummies. <laughs> All right, last, or no, not last, second to last, we have RC. Give it up for RC if you have this one and have tried it. RC has a lot of oils in it, and when I read the oils, you'll probably understand a little bit about what I'm, we're going to do with it. Uh, it's a pri proprietary unique blend of 10 oils, including myrtle, eucalyptus globulus, marjoram, pine, eucalyptus radiata, eucalyptus citiodora, lavender, cypress, black spruce, and peppermint. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I just did a scope earlier today with three recipes for some um, chest rubs, and that's what we're going to make right now, a simple one that we can make with just the oils in the starter kit. Um, I've got a empty essential oil bottle here, but you can use one of those dropper bottles that I showed you guys earlier in the scope. And I just put a little metal roller ball on here that you can get from Young Living. You actually do get one of these in your starter kit. You can and buy 10 for $10. And so you can really put, um, you know, 10 drops of RC into here and dilute it as much or as little as you want. Um, I tend to dilute it. I, again, I want to smell this oil on my chest. I want to keep it on my chest as long as possible. So putting a carrier oil is going to help with that. And I put it on my chest, um, I actually put it on my daughter's chest. I, she likes this one a lot, um, every night before she goes to bed and you will breathe easy. You can also put it on the bottom of your feet if you prefer, but I like to keep it up in my face. I so, found that I really like this one pre-workout also. Pre-workout, yes, very oxygenating, exactly. Um, yes, yeah, on the back would be back. great spot to put it, you guys are thinking, always thinking. So, uh, on the back of your neck, too, is a great place to help open you up. This one's another good one for in doing the tin, box, yes, yes in a tissue box is a great so idea, smart. I love that idea. Um, but the tinting approach that we talked about earlier, the boiling water, um, putting the steaming water in the bowl, put a couple drops of RC, put your towel over your head. Um, I personally love mixing this with myrtle. Um, myrtle is a great oil, not in the starter kit, um, but it's just one of those oils. If you've got young children, myrtle is the bomb. So um, who, if you want to know more about all of these oils and the chest rubs, you can watch my scope from earlier this morning, um, or the one right before this if you're on the Catch Me page watching this. Uh, you can also put uh, RC in a cup of Epsom salt as well. It would be a great way to take a bath and have like a very spa-like experience. Mm -hmm. And diffusing RC is excellent too. Diffusing RC um, with any of anything here would be great. All right. right. So we have now talked about well, all. We have stress alert. Yep. We've talked about all ten oils that are in the kit, but we get a bonus oil, an 11th oil. So the stress away is the oil to have when you are grocery shopping with your children. Yes, your yeah. three children, right? Your three children or more. Many of you have more or your one child, really. It doesn't really matter how many children you have. Um, we spent three hours learning about stress away at Winter Harvest this year. There is a lot of science behind this blend and how it was formulated. I won't get into all of that now, but you should just know that this oil is truly amazing for helping you with your everyday life stress. You can diffuse it, breathe it through your nose, put it on your wrist or your neck. It actually comes in a roll-on or you can make your own. It has six oils. It has copaiba. We've talked about copaiba. It really eases that feeling of being hyped up. It has lime, which I'm told smells like a margarita and who does not want that? Um, it has acatea, which is great for calming and relaxing and helping balance your body. 
Um, vanilla on its own it's a dietary oil vanilla essential oil so if you're reaching for ice cream or chips when you're stressed out vanilla oil and cedar wood which is also in young uh, in stress away are both going to help you be um not reach thoughtful for the box rather of ice than cream. reactive right not reach for the box of ice <laughs> the, cream. the carton of ice um, cream help you take some deep breaths and it has lavender which is again super calming so if you haven't tried Stress Away yet, you really need to, and it it is the 11th oil. Awesome. And we're diffusing it right now. It smells divine. Stress Away is actually very good in Ningxia Red, mm -hmm. so it's a good segue. You guys are probably wondering, well, what is Ningxia Red? So in your starter kit, you get a couple of these packets. And I have to be honest, um, being the natural foodie that I am, I looked at these packets and thought, ew, I don't want that. I don't want what's it's in a packet. packet. It's in a packet, right? Um, and so I let them sit there for a number of months, and then I started to read more about it and understood what it came from. And Young Living, um, actually Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, was very curious about um, various societies and what they were eating to support um, living a long life. And he found um, that wolf berries, which are similar to goji berries, um, same species, but just a different from a different region. So they're from the Ningxia province of China. And um, so he made a supplement about them. He found that wolf berries were really an amazing fruit um, that had a lot of protein in them actually and very high antioxidant content. I mean, I'm sure you have heard and have seen all these goji berry juices sold at your grocery stores and whatnot. And, um, you know, we all know how great antioxidants are for us. Um, but just one ounce shot of Ningxia Red um, will provide you with really vital antioxidants so to support your body. And we use Ningxia Red every day. Just one ounce is all you need. So a little shot we talk about. My daughter already knows how to take a shot, which is hilarious. Um, but it's actually the whole fruit, fruit puree of wolfberry that is in here, along with some other um, fruit juices of blueberry and um, some others. And you can just pop these. If you have your starter kit already, go ahead and pop these in the fridge and try them tomorrow morning. You will love them. Um, so it's just like a shot of health and wellness. I don't even know how else to describe it. You can put essential oils in it to add different flavors. Um, I love putting stress away and lime in mine um, or lemon. I mean, peppermint to wake mm -hmm. you up in the morning. The possibilities Cocaine are endless. To support your body. Cinnamon bark to give it very energizing. Mm -hmm. This stuff is super energizing. Um, it's going to support normal cellular function. It's going to support your healthy immune system. Um, a great thing to take throughout uh, this time of year and really every day to support wellness. And again, you only need one ounce. They come in these two ounce packets or if you are more green like me and order it um, every month, then you can get it in a big bottle, like a wine bottle mm -hmm. size and you can just pour yourself um, a shot in a shot glass and you can get Oily Angel shot glasses at the Oily Angels, or OilyAngelSwag.com and um, that's about it. It has D-limonene, it's, it's, it, it's just good stuff. So my favorite shots, I was kind of telling you some combos earlier would be Thieves, Lemon, and Copaiba. Um, if you, that's for digestive wellness, um, or daily wellness, sorry. Wake Me Up would be Peppermint and Lemon, uh, and you could even put some Dai Jai's and lemon in there for digestion support. So, really good. Great right, with citrus oils. So yes, lemon. any citrus oils any are going to be great. My husband loves orange and, um, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so out of curiosity, um, how many of you said to yourself, I could use that oil she just talked about? So, put a little thumbs up or raise your hand with the little raise hand emoji if that's you, to one of the oils that we just talked about. Any of you guys out there? Yep, I'm waiting for the comments to come in. If you're watching the replay, you're probably wondering what we're waiting for. Um, yep, exactly. How many of you said that for three or more of these? Whoops, I knew I was gonna knock something over in the scope. Three or more of these oils. Um, yeah, so you can see why we call these the everyday oils. Once you're comfortable with these oils, then you'll be ready for pretty much all of them. Oils can be used to enhance a fitness program to support the body's normal detoxification process. 
to deal with emotional healing and for maintaining and supporting a healthy endocrine system. I mean, who, ladies who are getting older, who doesn't want to support happy hormones? Yeah. I know. We're all getting older. Right? I do. Um, so, my family wants to. Next, I'm going to cover how you can actually get your hands on these awesome oils and talk about some of the other things that come in the starter kit. But first, some of you have expressed some serious interest in sharing these oils with friends and family. Uh, I am just going to touch on the business side of Young Living for a few minutes because it has blessed me so abundantly mm -hmm. and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't share how this has helped my purpose in being a natural health blogger um, to help more people and to actually get to know the people that I am helping. I now know my readers. I mean, before, how was I supposed to know if you were reading my blog? You were just somebody reading my blog and I never saw you. And Young Living has blessed me abundantly in that point because I have made so many close friends now. Um, so much amazing things have happened from this and that is why Young Living is a network marketing company. It's not so that I can make money off of you or whatever. <laughs> it is so that we can develop relationships and help each other as a community to learn and grow and become health advocates and help support each other to live a healthier lifestyle and to get rid of toxins from our kiddos' food, from their, from your homes, and to make sure everybody is living a healthy life and to be accountable to each other, really, right? I mean, that's what our community mm -hmm. is all about. So uh, you can't get that kind of community by shopping for your oils at the natural health food store, can you? Not really. Um, we've got amazing communities on Facebook. All of you guys out there who are existing Young Living members can attest to this. Um, the support that we get is amazing. And if you call or buy any other you know, oils from anywhere else, you are not going to get this level of support. I can guarantee you that. So I think Gary and Mary were very smart in building the model that this way. Um, the company has been around for 20 years, and this model has worked great the whole time. So um, I can't see it changing anytime soon. I wouldn't want it to ever change. Um, the cool thing is to share, you do not need to be an expert in essential oils. Um, you can share right away. Bring people along in your journey. Have them learn with you and be a part of the learning process. That's what I do. I'm experimenting with different things all the time and getting feedback from all of you. And some things work well and some things don't. And really everybody reacts to these oils in a different way and in order to un really understand the oils you have to experience them because they're not going to work unless you use them and so if something doesn't work for you that someone suggested please learn and grow and be teachable and learn about a different oil that might help you with what you need you just never know um, and so that is why we share, because I have ha heard countless stories. I have thousands, tens of thousands of people in my downline and have heard the most amazing stories, and it just makes me tear up to even think about it. So we recommend um, our favorite restaurant, our, um, the latest movie that we like without hesitation, and it should be the same for our oils. And I just want to paint this picture for you if you are thinking about sharing Young Living. If you were to invest money and actually open a restaurant, um, but you were not able to have an ad budget, say, to promote your restaurant in the local newspaper or in a magazine or something like that, how would you tell people about your restaurant? And I want you all to comment, and those watching the replay, you can think about it in your head um, or read through the comments on the Catch Me site. But I want you all to comment, what would you do if you wanted to tell people about your restaurant but you didn't have the money to advertise on TV or something like that? Media, you Word of yeah. mouth, right? So a lot of you guys are commenting social media, word of mouth. But you, who would you be telling? You would be telling the people that you know, friends of, and family and friends of those people. Now, would you expect every single one of the people that you told to show up at your restaurant that first week that you are open? Your Probably not. Probably <laughs> not. You might have some of them come, but they wouldn't all come the first time you opened, the first night, the first week, right? They wouldn't all come right away. They may not all come even a year later. Um, but they would eventually come at some point if they knew that your restaurant was open and that you were 
invested in your mm -hmm. restaurant and, and they it saw was, you eating at your restaurant you, and exactly. being well and happy exactly so what also would you expect that some of the people to come would they have a good experience would they like the food some would right but some of them might come on a bad night maybe they wouldn't like the food that night and they wouldn't want to come back or maybe they would send their food back some wouldn't right I mean there's always going to be people who like the food and then some people who don't mm -hmm. like the food and what about people um, actually telling others? So if I came to your restaurant, would I now tell Kimberly to go to your restaurant? So would I give her that referral? You're going to have some people who get, tell other people about it, and you're going to have some that don't. So you have to think about your Young Living business, a potential business, in the same way. It's like a restaurant. You're going to be telling people about it. Not everyone's going to come. Not everybody's going to like the food. Um, not everybody is going to tell other people about it, but some will. And some will be amazing at telling other people about it, and, and that is how we grow. So if you are very serious about pursuing a part-time business with Young Living, then please reach out to your sponsor with Young Living. And if they don't respond to you because they don't do this as a business, which a lot of times they may not, that's okay. Just look in your virtual office and you will be able to see your upline silver and upline diamond and they will be able to help you. So how many of you guys share? I'd love to see. If you do share, type in the word share and we'd love to congratulate you. So how do we now enroll as a Young Living member. Do you want to tell them, Kimberly? Certainly. So there are two ways that you can get started with Young Living. You can enroll as a retail customer. It's pretty straightforward. Retail customers can purchase anything they want at full retail price. I'm saying everything you want, but really you cannot buy this kit. You can buy all of those things separately, but you cannot buy this kit. Um, I don't really know why anybody would want to do that though because you can also enroll as a wholesale member with any of the starter kits. So the premium starter kit, there's a Ninja Red premium starter kit, and there is a Thieves premium starter kit, and then, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. There's one for if you are on a military base also, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't select that if you weren't on a military base. Um, so one of the benefits of being a wholesale member is that when you are a wholesale member and you are using your oils, if you share them, you are able to, Young Living sends you a thank you check. It's not required. 92% of people that use Young Living just enjoy the, the ongoing discount and they love that. But if you are somebody who is going to want to share and maybe get your oils paid for, maybe more, uh, wholesale membership is really going to support that. So when you get your premium starter kit, the amazing thing about a wholesale membership is if you're thinking, yeah, I'm not really interested in the commitment, I'm going to do retail. Well, guess what? Wholesale membership, no commitment. You can buy your kit. It's $160. Actually, you can choose your diffuser. It might be a little more if you choose a different diffuser. But if you choose this one or the home diffuser, $160 plus tax and shipping, you get your beginning, your serious journey to awesome wellness. It comes in this too. beautiful box Easy designed by the around. people that design Apple's um, boxes. So it's a beautiful box that gives you your 11 oils, some materials for sharing. You should read all these materials you definitely for should. So, you're so that little thing that has the 11 oils and it slips right in and then this little cover comes out. So you got even you more goodies. You also now get um, your Ning to Red samples. You're, you also get these samples. I don't know if you saw them before we put all the oils here. But among the samples you get, you get two samples of Peace and Calming, Yay. which is not currently available in a bottle. You can get Peace and Calming too, but you cannot get Peace and Calming. So there's some great tips for using your Peace and Calming. Um, and you also get 10 little bottles so that you can share. Um, can you buy, yes, put you can buy as many purse. starter kits as you want, or put, you can put them in their, your purse for yourself. You can share them. And you get these so little cards awesome. that you it can put the bottle on. So if you love it, you want to share it, this makes sharing super easy. You don't even have to tell people that much about it. You can just say, here's Thieves, here's some information about Thieves. And then you get to, you are not required to buy anything else, but you get to enjoy a an ongoing 24% off of retail. So anytime that I run out of lemon, I can log in and buy more lemon and I actually get a 15, these bottles are 5 milliliters, some of them when I replace them are 15 milliliters and I can buy a 15 milliliter bottle of lemon for $11.50. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So you also as a Young Living Wholesale member have an option to, sh to save even more. Really? 
Really? <laughs> Try me out, right? There is a frequent buyer's club called Essential Rewards. And if I'm overwhelming you now, know that for getting a premium circuit is a great way to get started. But before you go to order anything else, you really want to ask the person who sent you here about Essential Rewards because it is such an awesome program in so many ways. Once you get into your oils, you will find that you want to use them and keep using them and that you are actually replacing the things that you were buying every day with your oils. So when you want to buy more, in addition to saving that 24%, a great way to do that is to join Essential Rewards. There is a minimum of a 50 PV, which is basically $50 a month commitment, but it's not, and it's kind of like auto ship, but it's not auto ship in the sense that if this month, say September, I'm getting out of central rewards and I'm going to replace my lavender and my thieves. That's going to equal a little more than 50 PV. I'm not stuck getting lavender and thieves every month. Next month I can get peppermint, lemon, and more pan away or more purification. Um, it's, it's like Christmas once a month. Exactly. So you get to choose, choose your date every month. You can say this month I want it in the beginning of the month. This month I changed mine because I'm going to the Young Living Farm in Mona, Utah, and I want to see what's in the farm store before I process my essential rewards order. So usually I do it at the very beginning of the month. This month I'm waiting until after I go to the farm. So I get to change it. I get to change what's in it, and I actually use my essential rewards order like a shopping cart. I go through, and I'm like, oh, I'm out of Steve's household cleaner, and I add it. And then I also enjoy reduced shipping. There are mm -hmm. several different shipping options. I always choose a FedEx one because it's just the most user-friendly. Um, so I don't necessarily always go for the cheapest, but it's still very affordable shipping. Love it. And I also earn points back. That's so the best This part. is the best part. <laughs> so for the first six months of your essential rewards orders, months one through six, you get 10% back. So if you process a 50 PV order, you're going to get five points stored up in your point bank. From month 7 through 12, just keep placing those orders and you get 15% back. Months 13 on for the entirety of your Essential Rewards membership, 20%, 20%. We're back. both on 20%. Uh -huh. so. It is awesome. I have a family of five. We all use the oils. My husband leaves empty oil bottles on my counter. Um, and I'm like, oh, I, I guess it's time to replace it. And I get all, so not only can I process the order for the things that I think that I want that month, but I also have essential rewards points stored up so that I can try something that I, that wasn't in my regular order and treat myself, or I can replace the three bottles of orange that somehow my husband went through in one month without tapping into the rest of my budget. It is awesome. Um, and you can cancel at any time. You know, if you had an a AT&T phone membership, you'd have to pay a fee to get out of it, yeah. not, not with the Central Rewards. You actually can choose. I would recommend that you get on the Central Rewards as soon as possible because you can always... Um, you can always cancel it. You get to take, so say in September you, you enroll, you process your essential rewards order. Say in October you're like, oh, I don't really think that there's anything I want. You use your skip month. You just call or, or live chat and let them know you're not ordering anything. And then in November, maybe there's stuff that you want and you keep on going. Yeah, there's a full FAQ with mm -hmm. all of these points as well as some more. Um, at theoilyangels.com forward slash essential dash rewards. Again, if someone wants to type it in, theoilyangels.com forward slash essential dash rewards. So all of this information will be on there and it will also show you how to get started and set it up. If you are going to be setting it up, make sure you do it on a computer. Um, I have heard that it doesn't work from a phone. Um, yes, yeah, so go and look in that FAQ at theoilyangels.com forward slash essential dash rewards. So I get to, so I can't use my ER points towards my next ER order, but I can use them towards any other order and you can find all that information. All that info is on there. Okay. So let's get this wrapped up so you can go ahead and get started and get your things ordered. As we mentioned at the beginning of the scope, please go to the person who referred you to mm -hmm. this, you, it's theoilyangels.com, oh. the word theoilyangels.com forward slash essential dash rewards. Uh, so again, Young Living is a referral based business, so please go to the person who sent you to this scope and go ahead and find out their member number and go to the, don't just go to youngliving.com and click become a member. Make sure you have someone's 
member number. Why? Because you might think, well, I'm just going to enroll. I don't want to enroll under somebody um, because that's weird. Uh, because Young Living will actually put you with somebody. And it's better to be with somebody you know <laughs> than to be with somebody random um, that you don't know and that may not support you as well. So uh, make sure you get the member number of the person who you want to be enrolled with and that you type it in correctly and that um, you can get started. You go and it's a very easy process and the starter kit is $160, includes all this great stuff. And um, you can also add additional products if you want. Again, call the person who referred you to help you to place your first order if you want to get on Essential Awards or something like that. And we're at mid-month um, at the time of taping this scope. And there is plenty of time to find three people that also want to get started with you because if you find three people to share with, then your starter kit is going to be paid right. for. So really? if you are wondering, well, where am I going to find $160? Um, the more important question is, who else are you going to help this month to get started as well? And then that will help you. Mm -hmm. You help them, that helps you. Helps you pay for your oil. So that is another reason why mm -hmm. we are set up the way we are is that Gary and Mary wanted us to all be vibrantly healthy, and the best way to do that is to not have to pay for our oils each month um, to support our wellness and supplements and everything else that we get. And uh, the last time I checked, I don't think the drugstore or the health food store is ever going to write you a check for telling people about how great they are. So think about that um, the next time you think about Young Living. Thank you guys so much for investing in yourselves and investing in your family's health tonight and participating in this Scopinar. Uh, if you, um, again, if you signed up for this scope via the website link or by texting the word EO101 class to the number 33444, then one of you is going to win a 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint and you will be sent an email tomorrow as a follow-up with the replay link that you can share with others. You can, that link will be up indefinitely and you will be able to share this class with others um, to help get them started as well and to change their life with one drop. Awesome. Have an excellent evening everyone. Thank you Kimberly Kimber, thank you for so much. Thank you. And me. It's so much fun. I hope you and guys it's fun. had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Right. So remember that when you think about who you can help. It is fun to help and share. Scope from Utah. I definitely Bye, will. Guys. Thank Bye you. guys. Have a great night.